Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm going to be taking you through a Fitball workout today. So I don't personally have a Fitball, if you do, please use it for this workout. If not, I'm going to be using my bed pillow and a chair. So it just goes to show that we can be creative and keep our bodies moving during this quarantine. Um, so we're going to be pretty creative with this. Um, imagining that it's a football or using a football if we have one. I'm not going to be going through a warm-up, so please go through one on your own. If that's watching one from the adult fitness page, I highly recommend, or you can go for a walk, whatever you need to get your heart rate up and your muscles ready for this workout. Remember that you can pause the video at any time if you need more rest. And if you get off from me, don't worry about it. Just join back in where you can. So I'm going to start with some chair crunches or football crunches. I'm going to put my pillow on the chair to pad it. I'm going to lie down so that kind of the area between my hips and my shoulders is on the chair. We're going to be doing 20 seconds of work and then we'll take a little rest. So go ahead and get in position. We're going to be doing crunches here. So I'm going to hinge from my hips and push my shoulders up. And we'll start that in three, two, one. Making sure we have nice relaxed necks, not pulling up on it with our hands. Going up just as far as is comfortable. And three, two, one. Awesome, you can stay here or you can get up. We're just gonna take a short rest. I'll explain the next exercise. It's going to be a chest fly. So we're going to be taking our hands out away from our bodies and then flexing them up to the center. Remember, if you need some headrest, you can always put another chair behind you. So we're gonna start that in three, two, one. Making sure we're contracting those pectoral muscles at the top of the movement. This is nice and slow. Try not to go past the plane of our shoulders on the bottom of the movement. In three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we have one more exercise in this set and it's going to be a glute bridge. So I'm going to kind of slide down on my fit ball or my chair. And the area between the small of my back and my shoulder blades is going to be on the chair. I'm gonna have a 90 degree angle in my knees. I'm going to push up my hips and squeeze my glutes at the top of the movement. So go ahead and get in position and join with me in three, two, one. Nice relaxed head. Really squeezing those glutes at the top of the movement. We have a nice maybe hip width apart with our legs, driving through our feet. Three, two, one. Awesome. We can go ahead and Hop up, we have a few uh, seconds of rest between this set and the next one. So the next set, I'm just gonna go ahead and explain. I'm gonna take my pillow off the chair and I'm going to sit on the chair like a normal person. <laughs> um, I'm going to sit actually very um, in front so that I'm just on the edge of the chair and I'm going to either put my hands on my hips or my legs and from this 90 degree angle of my legs, you can kind of see it here. I'll demonstrate like this. I'm just going to lift my whole leg up one at a time, really working those hip flexors. So we're gonna start that exercise in about five seconds. So you can go and sit, get seated, get ready. Three, two, one. Nice, easy lifting up. This should be a very slow motion. If you'd like to count one, two, one, two, or one, two, three, one, two, three. Making sure we're pausing up at the top there. A few more seconds, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, the next one is going to be a chest press with the pillow. So I'm gonna lay back on the chair like I was in the first set. If you'd like to get a second pillow to pad the chair as well, I highly encourage you to do that. I'm just going to have um, the area between my hips and my shoulders again on this and I'm going to use my pillow and I'm going to press it up into the sky. So we'll start that in three, two, one. Pressing up again if you need some head support, put another chair behind you. 
really contracting those pectorals at the top of the motion. Nice big breaths. Inhaling as the pillow comes down and exhaling as we push it up. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, next one is going to be standing behind our chair. So I'm gonna put my pillow to the side here and I'm going to stand behind my chair, putting my hands on the top of it. This is just for some balance. If you'd like to take the chair away, you're certainly welcome to. And I'm just going to push one leg at a time back behind my body, nice straight knee on the leg that's sending back, and nice bent knee on the stability leg, making sure we're not locking our knee when we're putting all of our weight on it. So we'll start in three, two, one. Once you get the hang of this exercise, if you're looking for a little more challenge, we can always send our foot back, do a slight bend in our knee, like a little mini squat. Got a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, really working on glutes in that exercise. So we're gonna have a quick rest. Make sure you drink some water and make sure to pause the video if you need some more rest. All right, so I'm gonna put my chair back where it was originally, and I'm going to do some shoulder press with my pillow. So I'm going to again sit right on the edge, nice upright position with my upper body, and I'm going to either hold my pillow like this or long ways like this, and I'm just going to do a nice simple shoulder press, keeping my back nice and straight. You can join in me and with me in three, two, one. Really contracting those shoulder muscles at the top of the movement. And just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, next thing is going to be some squats. So I'm going to get rid of my pillow. I'm going to keep the chair. And this is going to be just like a body weight air squat, except we're going to be using the chair at the bottom of the movement. So I'm going to have a nice hip or shoulder width apart um, stance with my feet. And I'm going to send my hips back towards my chair or my football. And then I'm just going to explode out of the bottom. So go ahead and start that in three, two, one. Nice upright position with your upper body, chest proud. Sending those hips back, making sure our knees aren't going over our toes. Awesome job. We're more than halfway there. And three, two, one. Okay, next one is going to be some incline push-ups. So you can do this on your chair or a table if you'd like a little more of an incline, or you can also do it on the wall. So this is what they would look like on the wall. I'm just gonna be pushing up like that. Here's what they look like on the chair. And we can also do them on our knees on the chair. So I'm gonna be sending my elbows backwards, keeping my core nice and tight. We'll go ahead and start in three, two, one. Choose whatever version of this movement you'd like to do. Make sure we're keeping that core nice and tight, nice straight upper body. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, so for our last set, we're ditching the chair, we're keeping the pillow. So I'm gonna just put this to the side. And for this first exercise, I'm gonna put the pillow in between me and the wall, like this, kind of between my shoulders and my hips again. I'm gonna back up to the wall so that I have a nice tight, almost like I'm touching the wall instead of the pillow. I'm going to put my feet about one to two feet away from the wall, depending on how tall you are. And then we're going to squat into this and then come out of it. So remember, you can also do this with your foot ball, rolling it up and down the wall. Go ahead and start in three, two, one. We're really looking for that contraction in our glutes here. 
and also our quads. Keeping that nice straight upper body is really helpful for that. Just a few more seconds. In three, two, one. Awesome. All right, next we're going to lay down on the ground and I'm going to just kind of slowly make my, make my way to um, laying on my back. I'm going to keep my pillow and I can either bend my knees or keep my legs straight. I'm going to be doing just a full sit up, pushing my pillow up above my head. So we're gonna start in three, two, one. Remember, you don't have to use the pillow for this. You can always just do body weight. Nice, slow release to the ground. Just a few more seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, so that is our whole workout. We're going to go through one more time and we're going to go a little faster this time. So we're gonna do 15 seconds of exercise instead of 20. So I'm gonna bring my chair back to how it was originally. I'm gonna put my pillow on. We're gonna take a quick break right now. So take some water, remember to pause the video if you'd like more rest. Take some big, nice, deep recovery breaths. All right, so again, I'll just demonstrate our first exercise. You don't have to start it yet. I'm gonna put my pillow on my chair to pat it. I'm gonna put my back from my shoulder to my hip on the pillow, and then I'm going to do crunches. So we'll start in about 10 seconds. Go ahead and get in position, get ready. We'll start in three, two, one. Remember, only 15 seconds of work. Really pressing into those feet and into those hips. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, next one, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna do that chest fly. So, we're going to keep, oh, no Siri, I don't need you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to keep our hands out to the side, keep a nice slight bend in our elbow. We're gonna press our hands together in the top. Ready, three, two, one. Nice relaxed neck, nice firm contraction at the top of the movement. Nice big breaths, exhaling as we bring our hands up together. Three, two, one, awesome. Next exercise, we're going to slide down on our chair or on our hip bipple. I'm going to put my shoulder blades, or kind of in between my shoulder blades and the small of my back on the edge of the chair. I'm going to be pressing my hips up. Nice 90 degree angle in my knees, and we'll start in three, two, one. Taking those hips straight down and straight up. Really getting that contraction in the glutes at the top. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome, you can go ahead and stand up. Nice and slow on your own pace. We'll take a short break before the next set, but it's going to be seated on that chair without the pillow. So I'm gonna just put that to the side for now. I'm gonna sit right on the edge of my chair. And the next exercise is gonna be seated marches. Take some nice big deep breaths. Really expand those ribs. And we'll go ahead and start in three, two, one. We're just bringing that leg directly up. Like if I were to put a rope on my knee, I'm just pulling my knee up. We can also pull the knee up, kick the leg out if we'd like a little extra challenge. Just a few more seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, next is gonna be chest press. So I'm going to remind you to put a pillow on your chair if you need a little extra padding. 
I'm going to put my back from my hips to my shoulders on the chair. I'm going to be pressing this pillow up in three, two, one. Nice firm press up there. Bringing our elbows all the way back down to starting position. Three, two, one. All right, next thing is going to be the standing exercise. So I'm going to turn my chair, I'm going to stand behind it, and I'm going to be doing those glute kickbacks. So as a reminder, we're switching every time. We're kicking that leg back behind me. And three, two, one. Using this chair as stability, if you don't want it, that's fine. You can do it without the chair. You can also do it on a wall. Three, two, one. Awesome, quick rest, then we'll go to our next set. Great job, everyone. We're doing so good. We're moving a lot faster during this set of exercises, this kind of second half of the workout. So we're doing great. Next thing is going to be um, the seated shoulder press. So we're gonna pick up our pillows again. Remember to pause the video if you need more rest and definitely take a drink of water during each of our rests. So I'm going to, I'm going to choose to hold my pillow lengthwise. You can also choose to hold it vertically. And I'm going to have a nice straight back, pressing this up to the top. In three, two, one. Really feeling this in our shoulders. Keep that core nice and tight. Three, two, one. All right. Next exercise is going to be those bench squats. I'm going to put my pillow away for now. And I'm going to use my chair or um, a couch or whatever you need, or obviously the fit ball, as long as it doesn't roll away from you. Um, to just set my hips on momentarily before I explode out of that squat. So we'll start in three, two, one. Sending those hips back towards the chair. Exploding out of that motion. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Last thing in the set is going to be those incline push-ups. Remember, we can also do them on the wall. That look like this. Sorry, I can't talk to the wall. The farther your legs go out from the wall, the more difficult it's going to be. So I'm going to choose to do them on the chair. We can choose to do them on our knees or on our toes. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Sending those elbows backwards so that we're making kind of an A with our body. Nice and slow, keep that core nice and tight. Three, two, one. All right, now we're in our last set. So I'm going to put my chair aside and I'm just going to use the pillow. I'm also going to add a quick kind of bonus exercise at the end. So stay tuned for that. Our last set is going to start with our wall squats. So we're going to put our pillow in between us and the wall, making sure we're contacting it nice and firm towards the wall. Have our feet one to two feet away from the wall. And we're going to sink down into that squat. And we'll go in three, two, one. Awesome, making sure those knees are going over the toes. We have a nice straight upper body, chest proud. Nice neutral neck. A few more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. Next thing is going to be um, those supine uh, crunches. So I'm going to lay down on the ground. Nice and easy. Remember, we can use our pillow for this or we can decide not to. I'm going to keep my knees either bent or straight, and I'm just going to crunch up like so. In three, two, one. 
Just 15 seconds of this movement. We got this. Nice big breaths, breathing out as we come up and in as we release down. Nice easy release in three, two, one. Awesome. Go ahead and just as you're comfortable, come back to a standing position. And we're going to do some deadlifts as our bonus exercise. So I'm going to choose to hold my pillow laterally like this. And I'm going to, it's very similar to a squat, but I'm, instead of sending my hips back and down, I'm going to send my upper body down towards the ground. I'm going to have a slight bend in my knees, but otherwise keeping them pretty straight. My straight back. We're really focusing on the hamstrings here. So we'll start in three, two, one. You can always dish the pillow for this. You don't necessarily need it. Nice squeeze at the top. Nice straight back. Remember to keep those knees slightly bent. Don't want them locking out. Just a few more seconds. Remember this is a bonus exercise. And three, two, one last one. Awesome job. All right, everyone, so we've made it through our creative football class. And make sure you do a, war, uh, sorry, a cool down, um, making sure that we're keeping our bodies moving as we cool down, taking it nice and easy, drink some water, and make sure you eat some food to refuel after this workout. And have a wonderful day.